Okay, so the Royal Rumble is always known for uh, surprise entrance, and over the years, the uh, entrants have kind of dwindled to your typical hacksaw, Sergeant Slaughter, maybe the New Age Outlaws, Lawler, Booker T, guys that are always there that you always see, but nothing. I remember the first year when they started really bringing out guys, everyone went bananas. It was so cool to see just the first time you saw the Outlaws, really, the Road, road Dog and, and Billy Gunn when they first showed up. I don't think Billy Gunn's ever been in a Rumble. I might be wrong, but I remember Road Dog because I was marking out like crazy. Um, when RVD showed up in that one Rumble, yeah, after so long, it was like, wow, you know, one of those things. Uh, but now it's kind of like you see the same guys over and over again. And it's really lost its touch because how many guys really that WWE has under their belt can you really put in that match that we haven't seen in so long? Uh, I heard that RVD is going to be one of them. Jericho is going to be one of them. Uh, it's pretty obvious that Sheamus is going to come back with his uh, his new look, uh, bald head and like a big beard. Orton will probably come back. And so there's four guys there. But really, other than that, who have you really got? You can throw X-Pac in there if you want. I'm sure he can still go. Nash obviously can't. Scott Hall definitely can't. Jake Roberts, if you, I think he's recovering from surgery, so I don't think he'll ever be... Actually, you never know, but... The thing is, you know, Jake Roberts would be one that, but I don't know how, how good of health he is, because I know he was training to be in the Rumble last year, ended up going in the Hall of Fame. But, uh, that's one, yeah. Other than that, you know, it's crazy to think that a guy like The Rock, you know, a big guy, will never go in the Rumble, but it'll always be just, uh, upper mid-card guys that, just a nostalgic thing. But I have a, it just seems like there's not many guys left to really choose from. And, uh, I don't know. When I think about it, you know, who who can you really put in there that will make everyone just go, oh, you know, since you're in Philadelphia, you can always do go the ECW route and bring in Sandman or Sabu or guys like that. But, you know, how, how big of a pop can that really get? How believable are those guys to really just, oh, I don't know, just... It seems like the touch is, is starting to wear off real quick. Over the past two years, it's never really been something where it's like, oh, yeah, did you see the rumble? Or that? It's eh. kind of boring, honestly. But I'm looking forward to the match. Seeing the entrances are always, uh, entrance, the surprise ones, are always one of the highlights of the match for me. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.